Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 29 July. In case you missed it earlier today, Nifty missed the biggest milestone ever by just 0.25 points. I've talked several times about the consolidation in the cement industry, ultimately leading to a duopoly. This weekend, India Cements got acquired by Ultra Tech. The existing shareholders will get an option to submit their shares at 390. Overall, for people who invested at the right time, fantastic returns leading to the exit. With that hope, I also bought a company called Dalmia Bharat last week. It is going nowhere, however, as of now. I'll probably have to reevaluate because this does not look like a candidate for acquisition at all. Oil and gas among the leaders, software was dragging the index down. Overall, the balance was towards the bulls. There were very little bears. Now, interesting part is out of these four tall bars, three of them were small companies, not very large ones. Aerospace and defense, for example, it contributes just 2% to the overall market caps. Today, defense pack was on fire back to pre-election days, perhaps. GRSE hit upper circuit, Zen Technologies upper circuit, Asgaon Dock upper circuit nearly. Cochin Shipyard is not listed here, that also hit upper circuit. The big companies HL, BL up significantly. Fantastic volumes in most companies. I'll talk about the trigger shortly. Banking pack HDFC was down 1%, but the sector shot up significantly earlier in the day. There was a sharp downtick in the bank index. Nearly all bank stocks fell in a heap towards mid of the day. Look at the volumes. PFC ahead of its results, 2.5% up. REC results were decent. PFC results usually add on to REC only. ICICI post results was up significantly, but then it cooled down. This is not a day break. This is middle of the day for Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. The day actually started as indicated by Gift Nifty with a gap up. This was nearly 200 point gap up. We nearly touched 25,000 in the beginning of the day itself. But immediately in the first minute, we corrected significantly. Then we cooled down. After that came the sharp rally. And then in three candles, from the top of the day to the bottom of the day, this was nearly a 250 point fall in Nifty. Bank Nifty started up, remained up, then consolidated, went to the highest point of the day. But in three candles, it fell nearly 1100 points. Then within volatility, it closed nearly towards the lowest point of the day. Note 1100 points is nearly 2% from the top of the day fall. Now two banks, two results, ICICI, Indescent, both graphs look exactly same. ICICI looked like it will reclaim its 52 week high today. It fell 1% short of the 52 week and all time high. After this fall, ICICI tried recovery, but it closed towards the lowest point of the day only. Same with Indescent. Nifty did not go anywhere. If you look suddenly in last four days, Nifty has been down or gone nowhere. Bank Nifty has been up last two days. Nifty IT was down. FIIs sold. DIs bought and bought a lot. This number is getting into the scary zone. But let me show you something that supports this number. Let's go to Nifty 50 all time high. Let's go to PE ratio and let's go to 10 year. So Nifty is at a average median index 23.5 value only. It is not exorbitant compared to how it has in general done over the last 10 years. All right, bottom performer to, for the day, Bharti Airtel. It has been up only one day out of last five. Reliance was up, SBI was up, ITC corrected finally. LNT continued. I had said 3800 as the target last week. It is nearly there. Cold 68577. This is inching towards 70,000 at a rapid pace. Silver also up. All three ADRs at the recording time were looking good. US markets were looking very good Friday. That is one of the reasons why we had the euphoria earlier today, especially at the starting point of the day. Gift Nifty was celebrating the US markets perhaps because I did not see the results over the weekend to be that good to justify 2% gap up. Bitcoin up 2.2% in early trades. Rupee did not go anywhere. Brent continued the correction. This reflects in the oil companies celebrating yet again today. Reliance was super volatile today. TCS came down, consolidated for whole day. 
this is the fall I was talking about. Let me discuss it more when we talk about the bank index. LNT went up and remained at the highest point of the day nearly. Infosys just like TCS corrected. ATL continues down. ITC continues down. Look at this synchronization across all large bank stocks. Everything fell including the index. At the same time, nearly same depth. This is someone with deep pockets managing the bank index today. In Bank Nifty, stock of the day was IRFC up 6.45%. Now, defense stocks were on a tier, especially after this point where BEL declared their result. Result depends upon whether you say glass is half full or half empty. Year on year, the numbers look good. Sales up, EPS up, operating margin 3% up. However, quarter on quarter, sales half, EPS less than half, operating margin reduce, net profit less than 50% of Q&Q. Now this is a pattern. It happens every year, March to June, March to June, which means lot of orders are booked in March by BEL. Now we can discount this pattern maybe. However, look at the order book. Nearly 80,000 crores is the order book with BEL right now, out of which they delivered 4244 worth of sales in the previous quarter. It will take 20 quarters for them to deliver at this rate. This capacity is not going up 4000, 4162, 4244. Ideally, with this kind of order book, they should have been expanding their capacity and going up like this. This is not happening. This is my problem with BL and most of the defense stocks. The operating margins are swelling. They are charging the government and the other customers more and more for their services. Profitability is improving. It is like charging for your monopoly, not for expansion. Now, defense stocks were already up. But this point created a trigger for further up point for most stocks. GRSE was logged in upper circuit for most of the day. Maybe the rally will continue now for 2-3 days. This has been the trend in case of euphoria in the stocks related to aerospace and defense in general. Volumes were decent. I for now, I for now exited two of the stocks at loss. I'll talk about it. Metals did well selectively. Hindustan Zing towards end really shot up. It closed 5% up. Only general stainless to some extent has been correcting for last few days. Metal pack did well only today. That too on high volumes. Railway stocks were jubilant today. Every stock was up. That too handsome gains. RFC up 6.45%. RVNL up 10%. Looks like maybe we are revisiting the budget. IT however was not in a good mood. Percentage change negative for most stocks. Reliance and ONGC are big companies. But nearly everyone else was up 2-3% at least. The anticipation is now building also in relation to the US elections. Which president will lead to a cool down in oil prices? Which president will cause jump in oil prices? And the entire world, all oil companies globally are jumping to that tune. The top two in power pack were down. Overall, this sector was up 0.3%. Volumes were very high. While overall market bet was fantastic today, 30 sectors were up compared to 33 on Friday. Overall, as a result, the greed number fell from 30% to 29%. Top contribution came from aerospace and defense, oil and gas, telecom and insurance were dragging the index down. Auto, all the big players were up. Volumes were decent. Construction engineering was a busy sector today. RVNL was up 10%. NBCC, Aircon, both of them were up. Even LNT, the biggest of them all, was up 2.5%. The sector was up 3.5%. That too on fantastic volumes. Ultratech post the acquisition, though it is expensive, was up 1.7%. But the remaining companies were sulking. Trend resumed its upswing. DMART also up. Food and tobacco, minor cuts. Adani Wilmer, good results, up 6%. Now Adani Wilmer is at 40% zone. Good results, this may go up significantly over the next two weeks or so. Insurance deep cuts all stocks. Investment banking saw a lot of buying today. Good volumes. The consumption pack HUL did not go anywhere but the other players were up. Pharma Cipla down but the sector was up. Real estate DLF was up 5%. This is one sector which I would like to enter if there is decent correction. Kalyan Jewelers up today also. Titan corrected. Profit booking in telecom. Nifty 50, 25 stocks up, 25 down. Reliance, LNT, SBI. Ultratech contributed most. ATL, HDFC, ITC, Titan were dragging Nifty down. Not much change in the expensive stocks in terms of fear and greed. LNT moving up a bit. Fear wise, most banks still appear in this zone. That is to do with the fact that the PGs 
आर मोस्ट रीजनेबल हेयर पर एप्स नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन स्टॉक्स डाउन थर्टी फाइव अप सो नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी डेड लॉट बेटर देन निफ्टी फिफ्टी अदानी विल्मर पी एन बी डी एल एफ पी आई इंडस्ट्रीज बी एल ऑल ऑफ दैम वर अप सिग्निफिकेंटली वॉट वॉज डाउन एस बी आई कार्ड इन्फो एज इंडिगो श्री सीमेंट प्रॉक्टर एंड गैम्बल नॉट द वे आई वॉज ट्रेडिंग आई नीडेड अ ट्रैकर सो आई सोल्ड कोचिन शिप यार्ड एंड गार्डन रीच देर इज अ ट्रेड विच आई एम आइंग टूमोरो फॉर दैट आई नीडेड सम कैश सो आई सोल्ड दी स्टॉक्स एट लॉस ओनली आई वॉन्ट टू बाय दैम बैक एट अ लोअर प्राइस लेटर ऑन विच इज अबाउट एट टू नाइन परसेंट डाउन फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर राइट नाउ कंटिन्यूंग टू माई अदर ट्रेड आई बॉट ऑयल इंडिया आई होप दैट द ऑयल प्राइस डोंट शूट अप ओवर नाइट नाउ I sold KRBI at a slight loss, Ujjivan slight profit, GRSC and Cochin Yard at a significant loss, nearly fifty thousand. Hindustan Copper from the trading portfolio, I sold off the remaining part also at slight profit. FNO, I tried some trades, but Nifty was very very volatile. Also, I did not have enough money to sell options, and buying options was not profitable at all today. Slight loss, twelve hundred rupees, but look at the charges, eighteen sixty rupees. Brokerage six twenty, STT eight thirty, exchange two fifty, GST one fifty. So overall became a three thousand kind of minus day. I explained this on Friday. The M one money supply overall markets are in no mood to cool down. But with greed taking over at this pace, I am a bit skeptical. My current thought is that out of my corpus, I want to reduce the corpus invested actively for trading purposes significantly down. the long term investments unless they become really hugely overvalued i would not touch probably the hdfc banks icici banks of the world for example the zone in between which is right now invested for trading short term mid term one month two month that i will start taking out this money i will try to rotate i have not put percentages to it but idea is to be on cash it is okay to miss the froth because i don't know whether the froth is going to be there for one day one week one month but i'll not sit out i'll probably trade as of now fno i'll have to reduce there is no option especially because the triggers are not defining the movements the, the movements are being decided by synchronized falls like i've been showing for last few weeks those are beyond my control and i have to be really lucky to make money in that kind of environment let me know in comments how your trades are doing what is your experience these days thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow